before we decide on the cataract surgery, we want to make sure that retinopathy, if at all it is there, what level of retinopathy is, if there is any other medical or surgical uh, issues there in the eye which can affect by the cataract surgery. For patients with diabetes, the most important is how the retinopathy is, if it is there. The level of retinopathy, and that can be assessed by careful retinal examination with a direct ophthalmoscope, indirect ophthalmoscope, and also with the slit lamp with different kinds of magnifying lenses. Patient has a proliferative diabetic retinopathy where you can see the new blood vessel formation here with vitreous hemorrhage, pre-retinal hemorrhage. And these eyes, if they didn't have the previous laser treatment, or even if they have the laser treatment and retinopathy is this active, even with the uncomplicated cataract surgery, there is almost 25% chances that the retinopathy can get worse, which compromise the vision and defeats the purpose of removing the cataract. So we need to treat these type of active retinopathy before the cataract surgery, either with the laser or with injection of certain medication now we use for proliferative diabetic retinopathy. The other most crucial um, situation is diabetic macular edema. Macular, macula is the center part of the retina and if there is any leakage, any deposits of protein, cholesterol in the macula, that can seriously affect the central vision. And if we do the cataract surgery, uh, similarly as a proliferative disease, this macular edema can get worse even after uncomplicated cataract surgery. So we try to stabilize the retina first before suggesting the cataract surgery.